Good girl. Oh, Come on, there's pellets in there. Good, Good girl. job. She has to. She has to figure it out. She's she has so to. Smart. Yeah. So for the last few nights, we've been setting up the live stream camera just for me to watch while I sleep. I have my phone right next to my bed, and then I can wake up throughout the night and just check on Willow. Okay, I gotta show you. Okay, come here. Come here. Look. Yeah. Good girl, Willow. Okay, another night. We're gonna watch you from the well, camera. Right there, Willow. So if you need anything, we'll be good. Now we're only locking her in here at night. So that's why we don't have the real live stream up for you guys because we can't lock her up constantly. She would hate that. But at night she's safe and then we can check on her and see if she's gonna deliver. So far, there's been nothing. We're like day five. <laughs> No babies. Take five of the baby watch. Still waiting. So tight, but like, oh my god. No, it's just, Willow? Willow, you're so cute and so big. Oh Hard to believe there's three babies in there. I think there might just be only two. What oh. do you think? I have no idea. I'm kind of hoping three small babies so that she has an easy pregnancy, but I guess we'll see. All right. Bye, Willow. Bye, Penny. Okay, so we've got Tilly and Doris and Fern in here. We've got Stella and Luna together. And of course we've got little Willow and Penny. Does your mama have to eat right now? Huh? She's like, <sighs> I'm sorry. You're nice to let your mommy. Oh, she has an itch, but she can't reach. Oh, she's gonna pee. <laughs> Good night. We love you. <laughs> she burps. Okay. Hi. Time for everybody to come out. No babies yet. No babies. <laughs> Nothing? Same old, same old? Dang it. Okay, have a good day. Bye. <laughs> so open. Sorry. Good morning. <laughs> Wrong way, I'm Stella. In their way, so they don't know what they're like, what? Go, Go that way. Go that way. Oh, she wants to sc no, never mind. Alright. No babies in here either. Second Kevin walks in, they chase after him. Hey guys. <laughs> Here's for the little pigs, but I gotta feed her mine first. Okay. So she doesn't make <clears throat> Gotta distract her. Oh! You got one of them. You got, the, right. you got Lily. Oh, you got Neville. Oh gosh, Hermione's mean to him. Okay, while well, Kevin's wrangling those pigs, we're gonna get back to milking. She doesn't want the pellets, she wants some grain. She likes the grain. Well, it's Lydia's turn to milk today. We've just been switching off every day. It's about two seconds because she has hardly anything. Normally, Penny would be dried up by now, but we're keeping Penny in milk just in case we need it when the babies are born. Probably won't need it, but. And done. That took like two seconds. Okay, bye Penny. Run, hurry past Doris. Doris, you're not milked anymore. <laughs> it's been like two months, but in a couple weeks, we'll get started again, okay? Lots of milk. Yeah, we're probably not gonna milk her for a while actually because she's gonna have yeah. so many babies that she's gonna need to be giving it all to them. Oh, that's true. 
Four babies, Doris. Four? Okay, Willow. Nothing last night, huh? Well, we'll just have to keep waiting. Willow, don't go under the feeder. No. No, not again. Okay, bye. Have a good day. Okay guys, today what I'm doing is putting trellises on the front of our house. And so what I found was a really neat way to do it on Pinterest. You get these racks that are store racks that you display things in a store. So here's how I'm gonna do it. And they have these brackets that you just anchor into the stucco and it's way easier than actually welding together a whole system. So basically, I figured out the best way and I'm a genius. I think this is my favorite Kevin's craft. Oh really? Thumb, thumbs up for that. Okay. It is a good idea because on Pinterest they show you, you can do a store rack from Amazon and then you don't have to buy a welded one from someone that sells them. Yeah, I kind of like the welded look, but this looks pretty much welded. I mean, it looks so good. Yeah. These and bonus we found some clearance lady banks roses to go on this uh, trellis so it's yeah. going to be really pretty they have little white flowers and they do really good in full sun it better do well all right let's feed these baby chicks go. You getting a little more tame? Let's see how close they'll come to us. They fight over the one little specks. <laughs> yeah, one steals one and then they have to have that one. Go play with them. They're nice. Oh. Remember, the kitties were raised with a chick. So they really like chicks. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. But she might eat one if she gets really hungry. What do you think? She might. Come here, Chloe. Kitty, 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 kitty. Hey. Forgot to give these chickens some bedding. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Oh. So which one do you like? Um, I really like this one with the white and brown because I don't think we've ever had a chicken that really looks like that. So when she grows up, she's gonna look really, really pretty. All the other chickens, we've had at least one before. Tonight's dinner is a special one because it's really popular in Arizona. So let's see if you can figure out what I'm making. I'll go chasing rainbows near or far After the salsa is made, I'm going to start on taco meat, but these aren't just regular tacos, you guys. A substitute for a taco seasoning packet is a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, some chili powder, and a little bit of cornstarch. Tonight we're making Navajo tacos. So I've got to make the dough to be able to fry up my Indian fry bread. I add about a teaspoon of sugar along with three teaspoons of yeast and let that sit until it blooms. Next I add the salt and then the flour and then I just mix away. I have a super old Bosch mixer that my mom found at a garage sale and it's still working, so I'm still gonna keep using it. I let the mixer do the kneading for me, and then I'll cover it so it can rise. Next, it's as easy as shaping them into little circles and frying them up. We assemble them sort of like tostadas. And that's it, Navajo tacos. 
I don't know about you guys, but we are so excited for Willow to have her babies. Now, she hasn't gone into labor yet, but we're gonna get the last few things ready so we're totally prepared for baby goats. I think all of the goat barn stalls are ready. Yep. The only thing is we might need to take out a few of these for the live stream camera up yeah. there to be able to, you know, Maybe see two. everybody. I think we're gonna take out two of them. That's the good thing about doing these little C channels and <clears throat> two buys. Yeah, like if you wanted to make one big stall instead of two little ones, mm -hmm. just take them out. I wrote a blog post detailing how we built the goat barn and there's also a breakdown of cost and then all of the links to everything that we bought for this place, including all the feeders and everything. So I'll put that down in the description below. Oh, Hermione. You tried to distract her with her own food, huh? And she finished it. She didn't even finish it. She's just coming over here. Now they have to fight over two little, two little buckets. So a few of you have asked if the pigs are still for sale, but they're all reserved and um, the deposits are down for them to go to their new homes. They won't be leaving us for another six weeks or so. But yeah, everything's all set to go. Harry Spotter is gonna be a big breeding boar for a family that lives a couple miles from us. Dobby and Neville are gonna go with Crystal from Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. And then the rest are gonna go from just other local people around here. Are you gonna be okay to get rid of your pigs, Kevin? I guess, we'll have less poop. <laughs> Oh, we are gonna let them meet the goats, but we thought it would be better for them to meet the baby goats. So hopefully we'll have babies here next week, soon, and then they can play together first. If we let the mama goats, the bigger goats, see them, they'll probably headbutt them. So we don't want that to happen. Oh, they go way up there on the top of the what wall. what they do is either go on a tree and jump down, or they go all the way down there where it's still at one. I don't think you could get any more redneck, Lydia. Dad put a chair, a net, like a garden net. Can't really see it. Kevin got a pickleball set for Christmas. And so I've always said that Kevin's like an old man in a not too old body. And this is why, because he loves pickleball. Lydia, you don't want to play pickleball? I found a rock. <laughs> That's way better. Okay guys, now that we're getting ready for Willow to deliver her babies, I'm gonna go over a few ground rules for the live stream. Sometimes the live stream can get kind of crazy with lots of comments and people come on and they say all sorts of things about us or our goats or something. A lot of times people comment just to shock you or just to make you upset. So pretty much don't listen to what anybody says except for us and the moderators. We're gonna have moderators finally this year and it's gonna be a bunch of different homestead channels, uh, friends of mine. They're gonna help make sure that the live stream stays good and happy so as you watch the live stream just know that to not worry about anything that's happening so you don't really have to worry about Willow getting hurt we know what we're doing and we have like three vets on call day or night to help us out so don't have to worry about anything just watch and enjoy I know a lot of you guys want sound on the live stream, but it's honestly just really loud white noise. You're not going to really hear a lot of what's going on. We will try to turn up the sound once the baby goats come so that you can maybe listen to a little bit of like little bleats every now and then, but for the most part, the sound isn't going to be vital to what we're doing here. Finally, sometimes we have technical difficulties, we have to turn it off, and if anything becomes too graphic on the live stream, we have to turn it off. If the vet has to come by and do a procedure or something, you're gonna see us turning it off. Don't worry, we're gonna take care of everything. And also, even though we're putting up the live stream, we're still gonna be recording a regular video about it, so don't worry. That's it, now we wait. We're not gonna let the live stream go live until we are ready to lock Willow up completely. And we're not ready to do that yet. If we were to put the live stream on right now, she would be sad because she would be locked up and she's not ready to deliver yet. So she'll be frustrated that she can't get out. We're gonna wait till we see the very early signs of labor. And then we're gonna put her in there, turn on the live stream and be fun. Careful with your eyes. 
Yeah. She hits herself in the ribs. Oh. Hi. I don't think they have any control over their tails. She's <laughs> staring at me. She's gonna get you. She's ready to pounce. Yeah, she might be even so much. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's video, guys. If you want to watch some cute baby goats as you wait for our newest baby goats, click here to watch a compilation of all of our favorite baby goat experiences.